In this video, you will learn about daily life casual conversation. This conversation will help you in your daily life and also improve your English skills. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment. Let's go. Coffee hangout. Weekend plans with John and Jenny. Scene. Two friends, John and Jenny, meet at a local coffee shop. Hey Jenny, how's it going? Hey John, doing good, just grabbing some coffee. What about you? Same here. Needed a caffeine boost. Any plans for the weekend? Yeah, thinking of catching that new movie on Saturday. Interested? Absolutely. Which one are you thinking of? I heard good things about the one with Ryan Reynolds. Want to meet at the theater around 6? Sounds good. Do you know if it's showing at the downtown theater or the one by the mall? It's playing at both. The downtown one is closer to me. What works for you? Downtown works for me, too. Let's meet there at 545. Perfect. I'll grab some snacks beforehand. Should be fun. Definitely. Oh, before I forget, do you want to grab a bite after the movie? Yeah, I'm up for it. Any place in mind? That place got great reviews. How about that new pizza place on Main Street? Count me in. Awesome. So, the movie at 6, then pizza after. Sounds like a plan. Sounds great. Can't wait. They finish their coffee and head out, looking forward to their upcoming plans. At the movie theater, John and Jenny are standing in line to buy tickets. So, have you heard anything specific about the movie? Is it action-packed or more of a comedy? I think it's a mix of action and comedy, which usually means Ryan Reynolds being his usual witty self while saving the world. That sounds like a good combo. Should make for an entertaining evening. They purchase their tickets and head inside the theater. Oh, I almost forgot. Did you hear about that new cafe that opened up near the park? The one with the outdoor seating and the cozy ambiance? Yes, that's the one. I was thinking we could check it out tomorrow for brunch. That's a fantastic idea. I've been meaning to try it out. What time works for you? How about around 11? Gives us a chance to sleep in a bit, but still enjoy a leisurely brunch. Sounds like a plan. I'll make sure to bring my appetite. As they find their seats in the theater, the previews start rolling. You know, it's been a while since we've had one of these movie nights. We should do this more often. Absolutely. Sometimes we get so caught up with work and other stuff we forget to unwind. Agreed. It's good to have these moments to just relax and enjoy. The movie starts, and they both settle in, enjoying the action-packed and comedic moments on the big screen. After the movie, they step out of the theater. That was hilarious. Ryan Reynolds never disappoints. Totally. My sides hurt from laughing so much. So, pizza time now? You bet. Let's grab a cab and head over to Main Street. They arrive at the pizza place and find a cozy booth. This place has a great vibe, doesn't it? Absolutely. And the aroma of freshly baked pizza is making me even hungrier. They order their pizzas and continue chatting about the movie, sharing thoughts and favorite scenes. Can you believe that plot twist in the middle? I know, right? I did not see that coming at all. Their pizzas arrive, and they indulge in slices of deliciousness. Thanks for suggesting this place, John. The pizza is amazing. Anytime. It's good to explore new spots, especially ones with such tasty food. As they finish their meal, they settle back, feeling content and satisfied. What a day. Movie, good food, and great company like... Couldn't agree more. Thanks for joining me today, John. It's been a blast. Quise, Jenny. Here's to more fun weekends like this. They share a smile, realizing the joy in the simple pleasures of spending time together, and head out, bidding farewell until their next adventure. Lunch break banter, talking with Sam and Rachel. Hey, Rachel, how's your day going so far? Hey, Sam, not bad, just taking a breather. What about you? Same here, needed a break from the desk. Got any plans after work? Thinking of hitting the gym, need to burn off some steam. You? Meeting some friends for trivia night at the pub. Joining? Tempting, but gotta stick to my fitness routine. Have fun, though. Will do. By the way, did you catch the latest episode of that show we were discussing? Oh, yeah, binge-watched it last night. Twist at the end, right? Unexpected. Hey, speaking of shows, any new recommendations? There's this crime series everyone's raving about. Want me to send you the name? Please do. Oh, before I forget, any interest in trying that new sushi spot for lunch tomorrow? Sounds great. Count me in. Been craving sushi for ages. Awesome. I'll make a reservation. 
All right, better get back to it. Enjoy the gym session. Thanks, Sam. Catch you later. Back at it again. Hey, did you manage to sort out that client issue? Yeah, finally got it ironed out. It was a mess, but all good now. Almost done. Just some final touches and it'll be ready for the big presentation next week. Nice. You always nail those presentations. Oh, speaking of which, any tips for handling Q&A sessions? I'm dreading that part. Don't worry, you've got this. Just stay confident and anticipate the common questions. Practice with someone throwing curveballs. It helps. Good call. I'll give it a shot. Hey, did you hear about the new project in the works? Yeah, sounds interesting. Thinking of volunteering? Considering it. Adds a bit more to the plate, but could be rewarding. How about you? Same boat. It's a hefty load, but could be a game-changer career-wise. Anyway, thanks for the chat. I better tackle these emails. Catch you later, Sam. No problem. Dive into those emails. See you around, Rachel. Father-daughter chat. A day in their lives. Scene. Mark and his teenage daughter, Lily, sit in the living room after dinner. How was your day, Lily? Is anything interesting happening at school? It was okay, Dad. Just the usual classes. Oh, and I got an A on that history test I was stressing about. That's fantastic, kiddo. Hard work pays off. Speaking of, I had a meeting today. We're launching that project I told you about. Really? That's awesome, Dad. When does it start? Next week. Your mom and I were thinking of celebrating this weekend. Maybe dinner at that Italian place you like? Sounds great. Can we invite Sarah, too? Her birthday's coming up. Absolutely, sweetheart. Do you need help with your math homework later? Yeah, I'm kind of stuck on this problem. Mind giving me a hand? Sure thing. After we finish cleaning up, we can tackle it together. Oh, by the way, have you thought about what elective you want to take next semester? Not really. Maybe art or programming. I'll decide soon. Take your time. Exploring different interests is part of the fun. All right, let's get this kitchen cleaned up and dive into those math problems. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. So, Lily, any plans for the school talent show next month? I was thinking of performing a piano piece. I've been practicing the one you taught me last summer. That's fantastic. You're nailing it. Hey, did you see the email from your history teacher about that museum trip next week? Yeah, super excited. I've been waiting for that trip. Do you want to come as a chaperone? I'd love to, but I have that conference. Your mom will be there, though. It'll be fun. By the way, your cousin invited us for a barbecue next Saturday. Are you up for it? Barbecue at Aunt Jenna's? Always. I'll get to see Sarah, too, right? Absolutely. Oh, remember you wanted to try baking cookies last week? Shall we give it a shot tonight? Definitely. I'll get the recipe. Dad, thanks for helping me understand that math problem earlier. You explain things way better than my teacher. Anytime, kiddo. Math was my thing back in the day. Hey, I was thinking, how about a movie night this Friday? Your pick. Movie night sounds awesome. I'll choose something we both haven't seen. Dad, do you think I could take up photography as an elective next semester? That's a fantastic idea. You've got an eye for capturing moments. Let's explore it further this weekend, okay? Sounds like a plan. Oh, and before I forget, Mom said she'd love it if you could cook your special lasagna for her birthday next month. Absolutely. I'll start planning it. All right, cookie baking and a board game after. Perfect. You're on, Dad. Scene. Mark and Lily sit in the living room, surrounded by photos and a guitar resting in the corner. Lily, remember when you wanted to learn guitar? Yeah, I do. I should start practicing again. I can teach you a few chords if you want. It'll be our father-daughter jam session. That sounds awesome. Maybe we can play something at the next family gathering. Definitely. Speaking of, your cousin's graduation party is coming up. Are you excited? Totally. It'll be nice to celebrate with everyone. Hey, Dad, I've been thinking about volunteering at the animal shelter this summer. That's a wonderful idea. We could go this weekend to see how it works. Great. Oh, and about the trip next month, I was thinking of sketching the places we visit. Do you think I should take my sketchbook? Absolutely. Documenting your experiences through sketches would be fantastic. You know, I found some old photographs. Want to look through them together? Sure, Dad. Wow, look at you in those photos. So young. Chuckles. Memories, huh? Hey, I was planning a hike next Sunday. Want to join me? I'd love to. It's been a while since we did that. Dad, thanks for helping me with all this stuff. You're the best. You're welcome, sweetheart. It's all about supporting each other. Oh, I almost forgot. 
pizza night tonight? Absolutely. Your homemade pizzas are the best. Shopping together. Mark and Emily at the mall. Scene. Mark and Emily stroll through a department store in the mall. Hey, Mark. I spotted a sale on those shoes I've been eyeing. Oh, yeah, let's check them out. By the way, do you need anything for that upcoming dinner party? Yes, I was thinking of a new dress. I saw some lovely ones on the window display. Oh, yeah, let's check them out. Perfect timing. And the price seems good, too. Hey, do you think we need more kitchenware? Maybe a couple of new glasses. Let's swing by that home goods store on our way out. By the way, have you seen the tech store's sale on headphones? I did. Do you think we should get a pair? If the deal's good, it might be worth it. Oh, and what about those hiking shoes you wanted for our trip next month? Right. Let's stop by the sports store on our way to the dress section. Sounds like a plan. Hey, how about we grab a snack at the food court after? Absolutely. I'm craving some sushi rolls. Scene. Mark and Emily explore different sections of the mall, enjoying their shopping spree. Mark, do you think we should get a new coffee maker? Ours has been acting up. Good point. Let's swing by the appliance store and check out the options. Oh, and I remember you wanted a new planner. How about we stop by the bookstore? That's a great idea. I need to get more organized. By the way, what do you think about getting a gift for Sarah's birthday next week? Absolutely. How about that jewelry store you like? Maybe we can find something unique for her. Perfect. Oh, speaking of gifts, we should pick up a card for your mom's birthday next month. Right, let's stop by the stationery store on our way out. Hey, did you find those shoes you were looking for? Yes, and they're on sale. I'll grab them. Oh, I almost forgot our anniversary is coming up. Any ideas? A romantic dinner at that new Italian place downtown sounds perfect. We should make a reservation. Great idea. Let's do that after we check out. By the way, do you need any grooming products? Maybe a new razor. The grooming store is just around the corner. Oh, and I almost forgot about the sports event this weekend. Should we get tickets? Definitely. Let's stop by the ticket counter before we head out. Hey, thanks for joining me on this shopping spree, Mark. Anytime, Emily. It's always fun shopping together. Scene. Mark and Emily browse through different stores, exploring various sections of the mall. Mark, do you think we should get a new set of luggage for our trip next month? That's a good idea. Let's check the travel store after we're done here. Oh, and what do you think about that new art exhibition? Should we plan a visit next weekend? Sounds like a plan. I'll check the schedule on my phone. By the way, have you considered upgrading your phone? Yeah, I've been thinking about it. Let's swing by the electronics store after the art section. Oh, did you want to check out the skincare products here? Absolutely. I heard good reviews about their new line. Hey, I remember you mentioned a DIY project. Should we stop by the craft store? Yes, let's grab some supplies. Oh, and did you see the advertisement for the cooking workshop next Saturday? I did. Should we sign up for it? I'm sure we'd enjoy it together. By the way, I noticed the store has discounts on workout gear. Do you need anything? Maybe a new pair of sneakers. Let's head there before we wrap up. Oh, I almost forgot our favorite band is playing next month. Shall we get tickets? Definitely. We can buy them online when we get back home. Hey, thanks for making shopping so much fun, Mark. Likewise, Emily. It's always a blast with you. Scene. Mark and Emily browse through different stores, discussing various items and upcoming events. Mark, do you think we need more storage containers for the kitchen? Good call. Let's swing by the home organization section. Oh, and I remember you wanted to try that new restaurant downtown. Should we make a reservation for next Friday? Yes, that's a great idea. I'll book a table online when we get back. By the way, have you thought about updating your office chair? Actually, I have. Let's visit the office supplies store after we finish here. Oh, and speaking of work, did you finish that project you were working on? Almost done. I'll wrap it up tonight. By the way, did you want to check out the gadget store for that new smartwatch you've been eyeing? Yes, definitely worth a look. Let's head there after the office section. Oh, I almost forgot your friend's baby shower is next month. Should we get a gift now? That's a good idea. Let's stop by the baby store on our way out. Hey, I noticed a sign for that charity event we wanted to attend. Shall we buy tickets? Absolutely. It's for a good cause. We can purchase them when we're back home. Hey, thanks for making shopping so enjoyable, Emily. Likewise, Mark. It's always a pleasure doing this together. Scene. 
Mark and Emily wander through different stores, engaged in lively discussions. Mark, what do you think about that new furniture set for the living room? It looks great. Let's take a closer look. By the way, I heard there's a new hiking trail opening soon. Should we plan a weekend getaway? That sounds fantastic. I'll check the details online when we're home. Oh, did you see the sign for the local art fair happening next month? I did. We should mark our calendar for that. By the way, I was thinking about upgrading our home entertainment system. What do you think? That's a good idea. Let's visit the electronics store after the furniture section. Oh, and I almost forgot. Our favorite bakery has a baking workshop this weekend. Want to join? Absolutely. I'll brush up on my baking skills. Hey, did you notice the sports gear on sale? Should we grab something for our morning runs? Good idea. Let's check it out before we leave. Oh, and speaking of fitness, what do you think about that yoga retreat next month? That sounds relaxing. Let's look into it. Hey, thanks for making shopping so enjoyable, Emily. Likewise, Mark. It's always fun exploring new things together. Exploring travel plans. Grandpa and Emma's chat. Scene. Grandpa and Emma sit in the cozy living room, sipping tea. Emma, have you considered that road trip we used to talk about? Grandpa, I was thinking about it. Maybe a trip up the coast, stopping at those small beach towns? Ah, that sounds like a great idea. We could explore the lighthouses along the way like we used to do. Yes, and we can try those local seafood joints you love. Oh, speaking of trips, remember that European vacation you planned? Ah, yes. I was reminiscing about those days. The architecture in Italy was breathtaking. Absolutely, Grandpa. Maybe we should plan another trip, perhaps to Greece this time. I'll start researching. Greece sounds splendid. The history and culture there are magnificent. We could visit the ancient ruins and maybe even take a cruise around the islands. That sounds like a wonderful plan. And hey, have you thought about that camping trip with your kids? Oh yes, they've been asking about it. Maybe a weekend in the mountains, roasting marshmallows by the fire. Those are the memories that last, Emma. Cherish every moment, especially those adventures with the little ones. I will, Grandpa. Thanks for sharing all those travel stories and inspiring me to explore more. Anytime, my dear. Wanderlust runs in the family. Emma, do you remember when we talked about visiting those national parks out west? Yes, Grandpa, I've been looking into it. Maybe we could start with Yellowstone or Yosemite. Oh, excellent choices. The natural beauty there is unmatched. Have you considered a cross-country train trip? That sounds amazing. Imagine the scenic views and the charming stops along the way. Exactly. We could even explore those historic train stations. Speaking of history, how about a visit to Colonial Williamsburg? That's a fantastic idea. Stepping back in time would be fascinating. Oh, and what about that cooking class in New Orleans we've talked about? Ah, the flavors of New Orleans. We could learn some Cajun recipes and explore the music scene, too. Count me in. Grandpa, do you think we should plan for a family reunion somewhere special? Absolutely. Maybe a beach house rental where everyone can gather and make memories. That sounds perfect, Grandpa. Oh, I almost forgot. The Hot Air Balloon Festival is coming up. Shall we attend? That sounds thrilling. Watching those vibrant balloons ascend against the sky would be spectacular. Thanks for sharing all these ideas, Grandpa. It's always wonderful planning adventures with you. Likewise, Emma. Our travel dreams always make for the best conversations. Emma, what about a visit to the Grand Canyon? Remember how we used to talk about witnessing that magnificent view? Oh, Grandpa, that's been on my bucket list forever. Hiking those trails and seeing the sunrise would be breathtaking. Absolutely. Have you considered a stay at a vineyard in Napa Valley? It's serene and the wine tastings are delightful. That sounds so serene. I'll add it to our list. Oh, and I recall you mentioning that photography workshop you wanted to attend. Right. I've been meaning to enhance my photography skills. Maybe we could sign up together and capture some amazing shots. I'd love that. By the way, I stumbled upon a unique stay at a treehouse resort. Isn't that intriguing? Fascinating. It'll be like living in a fairy tale. Oh, and what do you think about a scenic train ride through the mountains? That sounds romantic and adventurous, Grandpa. A journey with stunning views all along. Absolutely. Speaking of journeys, how about a road trip along the Pacific Coast Highway, exploring those charming coastal towns? Grandpa, that's been a dream of mine. The scenic drive and quaint stops would be unforgettable. Emma, 
Planning these adventures with you always fills my heart with joy. The memories we create are priceless. Likewise, Grandpa. Our shared love for exploring new places brings so much happiness. Emma, have you thought about a visit to the Great Smoky Mountains? Oh, Grandpa, the hiking trails and diverse wildlife there are enticing. Maybe a cabin stay amidst nature. Precisely. And what about a cultural exploration in New Mexico? The art scene in Santa Fe is extraordinary. That sounds fascinating. The vibrant colors and art galleries would be inspiring. Oh, and what do you think about a sailing trip in the Florida Keys? Ah, the turquoise waters and sailing under the sun. It's a dreamy idea, Emma. Have you considered a visit to the quaint towns of New England during fall foliage? Absolutely. The picturesque landscapes and charming villages during autumn would be stunning. Oh, I recall you mentioning a historic train ride through the Rockies. Right. That scenic journey through the Rockies offers breathtaking views. And how about a culinary tour exploring the flavors of the South? Grandpa, that's mouth-watering. Tasting Southern cuisine and discovering local specialities would be a treat. Oh, and the hot air balloon festival in Albuquerque, should we plan for it? That festival is magical. The sight of colorful balloons against the desert landscape would be spectacular. Thanks for sharing these wonderful ideas, Grandpa. Planning these adventures with you is always exciting. Likewise, Emma. Our travel dreams keep us young at heart, don't they? They share a smile, envisioning the beauty and experiences awaiting them on their future travels. In this video, you will learn daily life-based question answers related to office, relationships, morning routine, motivation, family, and health. This video will help you in daily communication, so please listen and repeat with me. Before starting, please make sure you subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Thank you. Let's go. How was your weekend? It was great. Had a relaxing time with family and friends. Any updates on the project deadline? Yes, we're on track to meet the deadline next week. Can you assist with this task? Sure, I'll be happy to help. What do you need assistance with? Are you attending the team meeting today? Yes, I'll be there to discuss the quarterly goals. What's the agenda for the conference call? We'll be reviewing the marketing strategy for Q4. How's the new software integration going? It's progressing well. We've encountered a few minor issues to resolve. Do you have time for a quick brainstorming session? Of course, let's schedule it for later this afternoon. Any updates on the client's feedback? They're satisfied with the initial proposal and waiting for final approval. Are you available for a project status update? Yes, I've prepared the report and can discuss it any time today. What's the plan for the upcoming team building activity? We're finalizing the details and we'll announce it by the end of the week. How was your commute today? It was smooth with no traffic jams or delays. What time is the departmental meeting? It's scheduled for 10 a.m. in the conference room. Are you familiar with the new software update? Yes, I've gone through the training and feel comfortable using it. Any recommendations for improving team efficiency? Perhaps implementing a task management tool could streamline our workflow. How's the progress on the sales report? It's almost complete. Just need to finalize the data analysis. Do you have the agenda for the budget review meeting? Yes, I'll email it to everyone before the meeting starts. Have you scheduled the client presentation yet? Not yet. Still coordinating schedules with the client. What's the status of resolving the IT issue? The IT team is working on it and should have a fix by the end of the day. Are there any plans for the upcoming employee training sessions? We're considering bringing in an external trainer for specialized sessions. Can we set up a team debriefing session after the project launch? Definitely. Let's plan it for next Monday to review the outcomes. How's your partner doing? They're doing well, just a bit stressed with work lately. Are there any plans for date night this week? Yes, we're thinking of trying out a new restaurant downtown. How do you resolve conflicts in your relationship? We communicate openly and try to understand each other's perspectives. Do you have any anniversary plans coming up? Not yet, but we're thinking of taking a weekend getaway. What's your favorite thing about your partner? Their sense of humor always brings joy to our moments. 
What's the best advice you've received about relationships? To always be patient and understanding, especially during tough times. How do you keep the romance alive in your relationship? We try to surprise each other with little gestures and spontaneous dates. How was your morning? It was good. Had a nice breakfast and a productive start. Any plans for the evening? Just relaxing at home, maybe catching up on some reading. What's your favorite movie genre? I'm into thrillers and sci-fi. Love the suspense. How's the new pet adjusting? It's adapting well. Quite playful and adorable. Do you prefer tea or coffee? Coffee all the way. Can't start the day without it. Are you into any sports? I enjoy playing tennis. Keeps me active. What's your favorite holiday destination? I love beach getaways. The ocean is so relaxing. Do you enjoy cooking? Yeah, experimenting with new recipes is fun. How do you stay motivated during the week? Setting small goals and staying organized helps. Are there any hobbies you're passionate about? Photography and hiking go hand in hand for me. What's your favorite book genre? I enjoy mystery novels. They keep me hooked till the end. Do you have any favorite board games? I love playing Scrabble or Monopoly with friends. Are you a morning person or a night owl? A night owl. I'm more productive in the evenings. How do you like to spend your weekends? Exploring new places or trying out new restaurants. Any favorite music genres or artists? I'm into indie rock and alternative bands. Always discovering new music. Do you follow any TV series regularly? Yes, I'm hooked on a few crime dramas and sitcoms. What's your go-to workout routine? I do a mix of cardio, weight training, and yoga for flexibility. How do you unwind after a stressful day? I enjoy taking long walks or meditating to relax. Any favorite childhood memories? Family camping trips and playing in the backyard are cherished memories. What's your favorite season and why? I love autumn. The cool weather and colors are beautiful. Did you catch the latest episode of that show? Yes, it was intense. Can't wait for the next one. How's the family doing? They're doing well, thanks. Kids are keeping busy with school. Any recommendations for a good workout routine? I've been doing a mix of cardio and weight training. It's been effective. What's your favorite type of cuisine? I love Italian food, especially pasta dishes. Any plans for the holidays? Not sure yet. Probably a quiet celebration with family. How do you usually relax after a long day? I unwind by reading or listening to music. It helps me relax. What's your go-to weekend activity? I enjoy hiking or going for a bike ride when the weather's nice. Any new movies you're excited to watch? The new action movie that just came out looks promising. Have you tried any new recipes lately? Yes, I experimented with a vegan curry dish. Turned out pretty tasty. How's the new job going? It's challenging but rewarding. Learning a lot in the new role. How's the weather today? It's sunny and warm. Perfect for outdoor activities. What's for dinner tonight? I'm thinking of making some pasta with marinara sauce. Any plans for the weekend? I might catch a movie and spend time with friends. How was your day at work? It was busy but productive. Got a lot done. Have you read any good books lately? Yes, I just finished a mystery novel. It was quite gripping. What's your favorite hobby? I love painting landscapes. It's so relaxing. Do you follow any sports? Yeah, I'm a big basketball fan, especially during playoffs. How's the new neighborhood treating you? It's been great. Everyone's friendly around here. Any recommendations for a good coffee place? The cafe on Main Street makes amazing lattes. Planning any trips soon? I'm thinking of visiting the mountains next month. What do you appreciate most about your partner? I admire their kindness and unwavering support in everything I do. How do you navigate conflicts or disagreements in your relationship? We communicate openly, listen to each other's perspectives, and find common ground to resolve issues. What's an ideal date night for you? A cozy dinner at a favorite restaurant, followed by a romantic stroll under the stars. How do you maintain the spark in your relationship? We make time for spontaneous adventures and surprise each other with thoughtful gestures. What qualities do you think are important for a healthy relationship? 
Trust, respect, communication, and a sense of humor are crucial for us. How do you support each other's personal growth? We encourage pursuing individual goals while being each other's biggest cheerleaders along the way. What role does compromise play in your relationship? Compromise is essential. It allows us to find solutions that satisfy both our needs and desires. How do you handle stress or challenges together? We lean on each other for support, offering comfort and encouragement during tough times. What's your favorite memory together? Our trip to the mountains where we hiked, laughed, and enjoyed breathtaking views. It was unforgettable. How do you show appreciation for each other? Small gestures, like leaving notes or cooking favorite meals, and verbal affirmations are our way of expressing gratitude and love. How's your family doing? They're doing well, thanks for asking. Everyone's keeping busy with work and school. Any plans for the upcoming family gathering? Yes, we're planning a barbecue at my aunt's house next weekend. What's your favorite childhood memory with your family? I loved our annual camping trips. They were always full of laughter and adventures. How do you handle disagreements or conflicts within your family? We try to communicate calmly, listen to each other's perspectives, and find a compromise. Do you have any family traditions you cherish? Every Thanksgiving, we all cook together and share what we're grateful for. It's a special tradition for us. How do you usually celebrate birthdays or special occasions in your family? We typically have a family dinner and bake a cake, sometimes with a surprise gift. What role does family play in your life? They're my support system, always there for advice and encouragement no matter what. How do you balance family time with work commitments? It's a juggle, but I make sure to set aside evenings and weekends for family activities and relaxation. Any tips for maintaining a strong bond with family members? Regular communication, showing appreciation, and spending quality time together help strengthen our bond. What's the most important lesson you've learned from your family? They've taught me the value of perseverance and the importance of sticking together through thick and thin. What are your thoughts on the current political climate? It's quite polarized, and there's a lot of debate on various issues. Do you follow the latest political news? Yes, I try to stay updated to understand the changing landscape. How do you feel about the recent policy changes? Some are promising, but others might need more discussion and revision. What's your stance on a specific political issue? I believe it's essential to consider various perspectives before forming an opinion. Are you involved in any political activism or community initiatives? Yes, I volunteer with organizations for causes I'm passionate about. Do you engage in political discussions with friends or family? Sometimes, but I aim to have respectful conversations, even if we have differing opinions. What do you think are the key challenges facing the country today? Issues like health care, the economy, and social equality are crucial concerns. How do you feel about the upcoming elections? It's an important time, and I hope for informed decisions that benefit the nation. Do you think younger generations are more politically active now? There seems to be increased interest and engagement among younger demographics. How do you stay informed about political matters? I rely on a mix of reputable news sources and diverse opinions to stay well informed. How do you take care of your mental health? I practice mindfulness techniques like meditation and journaling to stay balanced. Have you ever sought professional help for mental health concerns? Yes, I've seen a therapist before. It was beneficial to talk to someone. What strategies do you use to manage stress? I exercise regularly and allocate time for activities that relax me, like reading or painting. How do you recognize signs of mental health issues in yourself or others? Changes in mood, sleep patterns, or energy levels are signs I look out for. Is mental health a topic you discuss openly with friends or family? Yes, I believe in normalizing these discussions to offer and seek support. What's your opinion on the stigma surrounding mental health? It's unfortunate. It often prevents people from seeking help when they need it most. Do you believe mental health services are accessible enough? There's progress, but accessibility remains a challenge for many individuals.
How do you prioritize self care for your mental well being? I prioritize sleep, set boundaries, and practice self compassion regularly. Have you noticed any positive changes in societal attitudes toward mental health? Definitely, there's more awareness and acceptance, encouraging open conversations. What advice would you give to someone struggling with mental health issues? Don't hesitate to seek help. Speaking to a professional or confiding in someone you trust can make a difference. What do you do for work? I'm a software developer. How's the job hunt going? It's been a bit challenging, but I'm staying positive. Are you looking for new opportunities? Yes, I'm exploring options for career growth. What's your typical workday like? It varies. I spend a lot of time in meetings and handling project tasks. Do you have any advice for someone starting in this field? Networking is key, and always be willing to learn and adapt. How's the work life balance at your job? It's decent. My company values a good balance, which is great. What are your long term career goals? I'm aiming for a leadership position in my field eventually. How do you handle work related stress? I take regular breaks and practice mindfulness to manage stress. Have you seen any good movies lately? Yeah, I watched Dune recently. It was fantastic. What's your favorite movie genre? I love action movies. The adrenaline rush is amazing. Any recommendations for a feel good movie? The Secret Life of Walter Mitty always lifts my spirits. What's the last movie that made you cry? Coco always gets me teary eyed. Are you into indie films? Yeah, I love discovering hidden gems. How about you? Do you prefer watching movies in theaters or at home? I enjoy the theater experience, but cozy movie nights at home are great too. What's the most memorable movie you've ever seen? The Shawshank Redemption left a lasting impression on me. Are you excited about any upcoming movies? Absolutely. Looking forward to the new Matrix movie. Who's your favorite actor or actress? I'm a huge fan of Meryl Streep's versatility. How do you stay motivated when facing challenges? I remind myself of the end goal and break tasks into manageable steps to stay on track. What inspires you to stay motivated in your work or personal life? Seeing progress and the potential impact of my efforts keeps me motivated. How do you overcome procrastination and stay motivated? Setting deadlines and creating a structured routine helps me stay focused. Have you ever experienced a lack of motivation? How did you deal with it? Yes, taking a break and revisiting my goals with a fresh perspective usually helps. What strategies do you use to motivate yourself on a daily basis? I start my day with positive affirmations and prioritize tasks based on importance. How important do you think external motivation from others is for staying motivated? It can be helpful, but I believe intrinsic motivation is more sustainable in the long run. What role does goal setting play in your motivation? Setting clear and achievable goals keeps me motivated and focused. Do you believe motivation fluctuates? How do you deal with it? Absolutely, it's normal. I try to find new sources of inspiration or take a short break to recharge. How do you motivate yourself to pursue your passions or hobbies? I allocate dedicated time and remind myself why I love doing them. Can you share any motivational quotes or mantras that resonate with you? Believe you can, and you're halfway there. Theodore Roosevelt. What line of work are you in? I work in marketing. How's business going for you? It's been good, steadily growing. Are you familiar with the latest business trends in the industry? Yes, I've been keeping up with the latest reports and news. What strategies do you use for business growth? We're focusing on expanding our online presence and improving customer service. Do you think the current market is favorable for business growth? It has its challenges, but there are opportunities if approached strategically. How do you handle team collaboration and communication in your business? We use regular meetings and collaborative platforms to ensure effective communication. What advice would you give to someone starting a new business? Focus on market research and building a strong team. How's the weather today? It's sunny and warm, perfect for outdoor activities. Have you seen the forecast for this week? Looks like we might have some rain later in the week, but the weekend looks promising. 
What's your favorite type of weather? I love crisp fall weather. The colors and cooler temperatures are refreshing. Do you think this winter will be harsh? Hard to say, but I've heard predictions of heavy snow in some areas. How do you handle extreme weather conditions? I usually prepare by stocking up on essentials and staying indoors. What's the best way to enjoy a specific type of weather? For sunny days, I love going to the beach or having a picnic in the park. Are you a fan of specific weather phenomena, for example, thunderstorms? I find thunderstorms quite exciting as long as they're not too severe. How do you deal with the hot, humid weather? I try to stay hydrated and find shade whenever possible. Have you ever experienced extreme weather conditions like hurricanes or blizzards? Yes, I've been through a few hurricanes and they can be quite intense. Do you prefer a specific season, for example, summer or another season? I love summer for the longer days and outdoor activities. Have you been on any recent trips? Yeah, I just got back from a weekend getaway to the mountains. Any upcoming travel plans? I'm thinking of exploring some national parks this summer. How do you usually plan your trips? I do thorough research online and often create an itinerary to make the most of my travels. What's the best travel experience you've ever had? Backpacking through Europe was unforgettable. Do you prefer solo travel or traveling with friends' family? I enjoy both, but solo travel gives me a chance to explore at my own pace. Have you ever encountered any travel mishaps? Yeah, missed flights and lost luggage have happened, but it's all part of the adventure. What's your go-to travel essential? A good book and a versatile travel adapter are must-haves for me. Do you have any travel tips for saving money? Booking flights in advance and opting for off-season travel often helps cut costs. What's on your travel bucket list? I'd love to visit Japan and experience its unique culture. How do you choose your travel destinations? I often consider the culture, food, and outdoor activities available in the destination. What's your favorite aspect of traveling? I love experiencing different cultures and trying new cuisines. Are you more of an adventurous traveler, or do you prefer relaxation? I enjoy a mix of both. A bit of adventure with some downtime is perfect for me. Do you have any tips for navigating through airports efficiently? Arriving early, having all documents handy, and packing smartly to speed up the process. What's the most surprising thing you've learned from traveling? How similar we all are despite our cultural differences. Do you collect any souvenirs when you travel? I usually collect local art or unique crafts as souvenirs. What's your favorite mode of transportation when traveling? I love exploring cities by walking or using public transportation. How do you stay connected while traveling abroad? I usually get a local SIM card or rely on Wi-Fi hotspots. Have you ever had a travel experience that changed your perspective? Yes, volunteering abroad made me appreciate different ways of life. Any travel goals for the upcoming year? I'm hoping to explore more of the national parks in my country.